Hey guys, it's my daily update for the RVGCR. Uh, probably the last one until Sunday. I'll do one Sunday afternoon. But uh, this is Friday and I'm really excited, guys. It's a good summary. We're all on the same page. Guys, This nothing can stop this. Nothing can stop it, right? And I'm going to read this to you and you be the judge. Okay, I'm Melanie Hines. I'm the faith and financial person. I'm also your faith and financial ninja. If you need help in any of either of those two areas, uh, whether it's to keep the wealth or figure out how to do a private exchange, if you're worried at all about the process or nervous about it at all, safety, etc. cetera. Um, I help you walk through that, right? And I answer all your questions privately in one-on-one -on -one counseling, it's things you don't want to answer in the chat. But I also go live every day, answer your questions in the chat. If you're subscribed for 20 minutes, get on and I will answer your chat. But you have to tap the bell to all because I my husband has a crazy schedule, therefore I have a crazy schedule. He's a fireman and EMT, he also works full-time as an outdoor guide for L.O. Bean. So his schedule's nuts and I work when he works and I don't work when he doesn't work. So that's one of the reasons why I'm taking the day tomorrow, but I'll still be live in the morning answering your, your faith and financial questions. So if you want to get on and ask a question that you haven't gotten answered, please get on and, and uh, subscribe, tap the bell, and you can get on tomorrow. I will probably be going live, um, I don't know, depends on how tonight goes, right? Uh, he's off um, most of the weekend, so we're going to have some fun. So it might be 10, it might be 11, but if you're subscribed and tap the bell, it'll be fine. Okay, right? you, you won't miss it. So I look forward to seeing you on the lives where I answer your faith and financial questions and everything associated with this currency exchange. So if you have questions about that, no question is a dumb question. I look forward to seeing you on there. Okay, so let me get started. So these are shorter, large, large call notes um, for this is this has got Bruce's call notes and it says being in Australia it always seems like we are a day ahead but I'm very blessed and happy to wake up and have the most amazing intelligence data from virtually all of the favorite Intel providers and all on the same page TNT turned off one night call 10 minutes in and so much worth listening also our dear Wolverine short but sweet very emotional in his short audio and the words he speaks what a dear and beautiful soul he has steps have been taken in Iraq that cannot be stopped now in the process and our heavenly blessing is picking up in its full manifestation to our 4B level. So I know that each of us prays every day. It is not denied how this heavenly blessing is now desperately needed. Pain and suffering worldwide very soon. Now he will begin to be healed. Um, and because of the way our world is currently tuned, whether we like it or not, it revolves around the use of money. One day that may not be the case, but for now, it, it's that's an un, undeniable fact of life. This has nothing. This has nothing what to see with greed. They didn't write this right. This has nothing to do with greed. This only has to do with being able now to financially, finally help those who can clearly see and need help. Yes, and that includes us and our loved ones. Being able to have the peace of mind knowing that they will now be safe and protected will allow us to focus on a wider perspective of reaching those dear souls through our humanitarian projects who currently cannot help themselves. By doing this, if we can first heal them and then educate them as to the truth of how badly they have been lied to and deceived by everybody, and the knowledge of being able to help them not only survive, but most importantly, prosper. Nothing wrong with living a happy, healthy, prosperous, and prosperous life. Guys, I teach that on my channel. How do you live? How do you tap into the unlimited wealth in God's kingdom? I talk only about the kingdom there. If you're not aware of this kingdom, tune in so you can get the keys to the kingdom so you can have a prosperous life because God wants us all healthy and prosperous. He does. That was one of his first promises to me. You'll have to tune into the live to find out more about that story. Um, imagine the joy that will bring our Father and Jesus and all those heavenly angels. It is to them we now give all the glory in our deepest heart and soul thanks that heaven returning to earth is going to be something souls have yearned to see for millennials. And finally, 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 we're almost here again. Only intelligence. Where are we now? This is Bruce's intel, of course. Uh, there's a bit. I didn't tell you on Tuesday, which I will tonight. Remember back in the old days, we heard about the St. Germain Trust opening at Easter, for Christmas, at Easter and Christmas. But it was last Saturday, and certainly people opened it for the first time in history. A trust about 800 years old. It was open, and the funds in it. We talked about the zeros and what they represent. But guess how many zeros there were after a leading number, followed by 3,600 zeros. That's such a big number. I don't think there is a name for it. In other words, a lot of funds are now completely emptied and safe. Sovereign accounts for humanitarian affairs. Just amazing. All we're waiting for to happen. So to think nothing 
could have been done until this trust was opened and is very significant and a big business and also to buy two and Tuesday the Rodriguez trust so the funds will be there that they have been moving to accounts throughout us throughout us and the world there was so much information two pieces today one was that student loans are in a position to be forgiven today afternoon over six billion two hundred and two hundred twenty thousand loans and that's part of Nasara with no announcement and then a bit that in Canada the Chase banks were forgiving credit cards debts I don't have this verified yet but it's interesting that it's happening in Canada so what's new then why wasn't this yesterday today is Thursday and we hear that on Wednesday Thursday and now Thursday is almost over but Friday and Saturday are a different animal um, so why not yesterday because 1460 boxes of Mexican bonds in Reno yesterday with some issues involving them and might have stopped us but where we are now with Iraq they've opened up their budget and yesterday they started paying the military and contractors and public works and paying for them in a new revalued Iraqi dinars what else is significant well Friday is their holy day and according to Iraqi sources bank open an hour after morning prayer then why a new rate in the country tomorrow an hour after the banks open in Iraq and tomorrow they will have a new rate we're getting pretty good information with the delegations here yesterday with people um, here and they were able to finalize a contract rate I hear they will offer us that but if they don't offer you that rate you have to ask for it I mean you have a fixed trade date with a a center and if you are a Zim holder and trading your Zim then what you will do also to get a contract rate in the dinar the delegation returned last night and now everything is business as usual in Iraq and they are moving forward guys no I, I don't I don't have no way of verifying this I'm just summarizing the Intel for you so you can find a concise place to get it so some of this may or may not be true it could be manipulation because there is a lot of disinformation at the time this happens so they're talking about Bank of Amanda Bank of America handled all the different bonds 12 different Chinese bonds and it looks like all of them next Tuesday but we thought for ourselves three or four sources to get our notifications either Friday or Saturday although I'm trying not to call th them so if the 800 numbers come in tomorrow morning and and we could make the appointment you know three hours later they're talking about today it's already past that time it's 3 15. Um, did you get a notification comment down below if you did if not are you still feeling blessed are you still saying high vibe about this you should be because the good Lord my Intel provider the good Lord the King of Kings um, told me it's done so I always I'm prophetic I always get these timings beforehand so we're walking it out right now so enjoy this journey walking it out amen and keep praising God that it's here um, let's talk about Jeannie and I talked about I think I have a clarification with Social Security based on your birthday which is when you get paid Bruce's understanding is that they will take the first and second and pay for the third and fourth to get paid for the third as well sorry guys that was very cute yes it was you'll just have to wait and see this is supposed to happen this month and an increase of at least a thousand and the maximum amount is over four thousand for people who signed up at age 70 or so why are you moving these dates that leave the fourth and fifth for the restitutional assignment on the 26th and that's going to be substantial in BC and interest on loans not sure about income tax that might be separate but what I hear will be at age 62 or older a lump sum will be paid out to the bank account the Social Security is paid information if you are 48 50 and 62 that group will receive for a period of time and they will be asked to sign something to say they will continue to work but even we we are not going to stop working but we are found funding these humanitarian projects and carrying them out I think you have to work 15 years to receive this restitution allowance of course it's not going to make much difference for us I've been working since I was 13 how about you how long have you been working I'd like to know from the collective group I think we deserve a lot of restitution if there is such thing just saying now the USD is dead internationally and can only be used in three countries it is everybody's de-dollarizing it's very apparent to me um, there's talk of these new uh, US things but I don't know about that do you what do you think you think there's a new US TN? I don't mind if you do I just I'm just gonna wait and see right because I'm tired of being lied to anybody else tired of being lied to just saying are you tired of being lied to um, let's see Mark Z gave a Friday he said quantum, happy quantum leap day everybody um, we're hoping everybody's members asking if this is our weekend Mark Z said I don't know if this is our weekend but there is an excellent chance that this is our weekend there is a tremendous amount of chatter that it is we are right on that I do not doubt first let's talk about Iraq I agree with Nader that things are simply done I love that he said that because I've been saying that God told me to tell you it was done as much as that has frustrated a lot of people who get on my intel how could you say it's done it's because it's spiritual 
the kingdom of the kingdom the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. We have to bring it in, right? We have to learn how to bring it in, get the keys to the kingdom of David to open up the wealth transfer. And God has given me those keys. So I hope you'll join me on a live and learn about those keys because that's the only place I really talk about the faith. Although I might be being encouraged to do short videos about faith too, along with these Intel updates. I don't know. You just have to pray for me to have time to do that. Um, U.S. forces stole thousands of artifacts from Iraq during the invasion. This one popped up in Iraqi news. We all know this. It's interesting that we didn't steal them. Uh, we were protecting them from looters. Not sure what the reality is. Yes, I agree, Mark. A important one, I think. Syria's assets returns, Assad returns to Arab fold after years of isolation. Why is this one important? We were told before Iraq RV'd we would see peace break out in the Middle East. And for the most part, it has. Now, even in Syria, we have peace. There's a whole lot of chatter on the bond side, on the Reno side. Bond people are hearing anywhere from this weekend to May 1st for money to flow free and clearly. In a nutshell, mainly looking at next week. There are a number of private groups preparing for next week. That is the chatter we are hearing from the Reno area. Stay buckled up. They're going to continue to throw all kinds of different dates at us. We know it's coming. We know it's happening. Uh, I, I know it's already done. None of the sources are telling me June or June 24th. I was always told that misinformation was going to be thrown out there. Um, Let's see. Treasury general account, TGA, is dropping $130 billion per month and dropped $50 billion last week. At this pace, the government will be out of money in two to three weeks. This means the FDIC won't have any capital to insure deposits and there will be a complete shutdown of the government. There is still no MSM reporting on this. We are headed to that point of no return. Um, remember, I did intel yesterday, I'll put the link down below, that talked about how much our government has to gain by having this revalue and cashing it in, what they have. They've always done that. That's how they they got a gimme under Clement, Clinton. They had a surplus. Remember that? You wonder how that happened? It was because Kuwait revalued. So this is going to happen again, and it's going to give them a big boom, trillions of dollars worth. Amen. So everybody needs this. As I said, the banks need the liquidity. They need your appointments for the liquidity. Uh, they need you to 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 exchange at there there so they can have those digits on their balance sheet um okay it's just it's just amazing so obviously he's talking about things that i'm gonna wait and see i don't like to talk about i just i just bring you the the relevant points that i think make really good sense uh frank 26 the cbi sterilizes iraq of all foreign currencies in preparation of the introduction of their new national currency uh the it's a new national currency of Iraq. The United States of America has their Treasury Department saying in our news that they are ready to help Iraq stabilize the exchange rate. And he, we hear on Iraqi Channel 1 News TV that there are many new deals with the IMF and the World Bank on helping us with our economic reforms. A lot going on in the news today about reforms in the IMF and the World Bank and the U.S. Treasury. They're all going to have a big powwow. Uh, does 25% seem about right for taxes? I like Frank because he's saying the same thing to me. No, I take it up to 40% and then you can give yourself a refund. I take it up to 50% because I'm naturally a CPA and very conservative. Judy's notes, she's been talking about this, the same summary I've given for a while now about what's actually going on with everything. Um, the other things, you know, if you need that summary, post down below that you want to hear Judy's notes summary and I will continue to include that. She talks about more than the Iraqi dinar. I've already been 13 minutes. I wanted to make this short. So here you go. That's as short as it could be today. God bless. Have a great day. Keep your prayers up there for my rest tomorrow and that my voice stays good because I have a lot of appointments on Sunday. You guys are already in place for that. Everybody else, I'm booking out next week. If you want appointments next week, just let me know what days work for you and I'll try to fit you in that on those days. God bless. Bye.